What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's PopyJ and welcome to Post Hello. This is a little indie game that was up on itch.io. I don't know a lot of backstory, but the art style kind of won me over to where I wanted to see more, so come with me on this. Don't know why there's a child sleeping, but it looks like she's having a good dream. Oh god, hi. That just, uh, that just goes straight into it. Don't tell me what to- Oh, I'm already controlling him. Jesus. Ah! Come on! Ah! Oh god. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, brushed us teeth. I didn't think I was already playing. This is funny. Yeah. Alright. Uh. Oh god. It's, uh. Okay, this is not weird. There's a bowl. Okay. Cereal. Nice. Very good. Right? This isn't weird at all. Very nice. Hmm. Yum. Must. Consume. More. Alright, let's go into this room. Oh, he's the postman. Okay. That makes sense. It's called Post Hello. Makes a lot of sense that you would have the postman. Am I meant to be- oh, hi. Is that your kid? Delivery man. Well, here we are. Last stop of the day. Let's see what we have left in the trunk. What do we got? Sweet, just one left. Yep, that's a hefty one. Alright, let's get you delivered. Is it to the house over here? I don't know whether it's to the house over here or not. This is a really cool art style though. I'm impressed. Uh, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, sir. What the? Who in the name of the Lord are you? Why are you in my house? Oh, uh, sir, I was just, uh... Just trespassing, were you? Just infringing upon my right properly. Alright, I'll go. Uh, okay, so was I not meant to deliver there? Am I meant to deliver to the little girl? I have no idea. Maybe? Hello, little girl. Uh, is this package for you at all? Uh, delivery. I have a package for... Uh, Perla George. Ah. Huh. Could I have a signature? Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Okay. Very cool. Go home. Okay. Let's get going. He's a happy chap. Alright. Now, let's go home. Nice. Oh god, he looks burnt out, dude. You look very burnt out, my sir. Yep. That was day one. Day two. Alright. Oh god, same thing again. Eh. 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 Yep, fall out of the bed again. Same routine. Yep. Is this meant to show like a, uh, a really rigid routine or a very kind of um, a shitty routine? Or 
or the manda- like the, um, mundality of routine. I'm so tired. When will catch, when will I catch a break? All right. I feel like something bad's gonna happen to him. And that's got me nervous. Cause I don't want anything bad to happen to him. You, delivery guy, hello. Yes, madam? I remember you, you delivered a package of mine not too long ago. Oh, right, yeah. What seems to be the matter? Okay, so earlier this morning I was testing out my geometry project and everything was going great until a sudden gust of wind. Wind? Yes, as I was saying, my project flew straight out onto my neighbor's backyard. Uh... You should talk to him. He looks like he's home. Perhaps you could just talk to him. Um, I can't. Why not? Well, despite having been neighbors since we moved here, my family never interacts with him. We're all a little in the dark about who, uh... I was hoping you'd be able to somehow get my kite back. Okay, let's, uh... See? Oh, no, I had a bad impression, though, the, uh, the other day. <laughs> He's not gonna like seeing me again. I'm knocking. Ah! Hi, sir. Hello. What do you want? Well, um... I really don't mean to bother you, but I, uh... Need to grab something from your backyard. On my property without my permission again, eh? No, it's not like that. Your neighbor, the little girl next door, she, uh... Oh, come on, don't be a douche. Ah, Why is he so mean? Can I just go get it? Fuck what that guy says. I'm gonna try and go get it. I'm gonna try and be the badass here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. Damn it. Alright. <sighs> Man. I thought I could try and get to the backyard, but it doesn't look like it. Hey, so, uh, um, I'm tired, but, uh, yeah, I see, I'm not at all surprised, he's really not one to take any to visitors, no kidding, there must be some other way, well, I won't keep you all day, thanks for your time, please let me know if you manage to retrieve it, though, aw, she's nice. Are you alright? Oh god. You! I'm... fine. You don't look fine. I've fallen. I can't get up. But he uh, ain't what he used to be. I could drive you. I think you should get checked out for peace of mind. I'd... Really appreciate that. Good. Now I'm building a little bit of a rapport with him, I guess. Day three. All right. Routine continues. Ugh. Come on, buddy. Ugh. Yep. Same routine again. There must be more to life than just work. 
I want connection. That's sad. If you're having to say that, that's really sad. Like you're unable to connect with people. That's really sad. Oh, how'd he go? I want to see how he went. Who's the package for? Is it for him? I want to make sure he's okay. Because it looks like he might have had a heart attack or something. Delivery! Hey, uh, seems like I missed a package for you yesterday. Oh, that's alright. How are you? Feeling fine, actually. Just gotta be more careful around the tile floors. Hey, really appreciated the help yesterday. Oh, it was nothing, really. Felt like the right thing to do. You're one of the good ones. Not a lot of them like you out there these days. You should talk to more people. I don't know about that. There's plenty of good people around. You should talk to them. Man, I was really... I was really extrovert back in the day. Did it all for my boys. Wasted efforts. All that's gonna get you. And what makes you say that? I'm saying, why should I even bother when my own kids don't bother to visit anymore? Them two boys just took off. Didn't even show up to their mother's funeral. I'm done reasoning with young people. Where's the respect? But still, there's good people to meet out there. I meet a lot of them every day doing this job. It must be nice. I'm glad you got that. I mean, you've got to try at least. Can't expect every delivery I make to be easy, but that doesn't mean that you just quit, you know? Sometimes good stuff's unexpected, like yesterday. You just have to be open to it in the first place. Well, uh, I'll just get going then. Wait, one more thing. Picked this out of the tree yesterday. Ah, oh, what a good man. Ah, oh, what a good man. Thanks, dude. Aww. That's the interesting thing, though, is that... And that's kind of the... That's part of the reason that I enjoy doing this, is because it has helped me connect with people on other sides of the world, you know? It's helped me to connect with so many different people from different walks of life. And it's part of the reason that I keep coming back day after day and doing this, is because I really enjoy making those connections. What a pleasant surprise. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. It's been quite some time since I've made a new friend, you know? What do you mean? What about other kids at school? Personally, I've always had some difficulty connecting with the kids my age. Perhaps you'd understand. I might get it. School's a way back for me, but I think I might get it. I'm glad you might relate. Not sure what it's like for you, but I feel as though my interests don't align with those of my peers. I try my best to fit in, but at the end of the day, I can't help that I care about what I care about. Well, what do you care about? I enjoy my studies. I think the I think about the world a lot. I care about learning. I care about my family. Hey, I'm sure you know, but you're really mature for your age. Yeah, she is. I do hear that a lot. I just feel so misunderstood at times, and I'm not sure who actually cares. I feel quite judged sometimes for the books I read, the clothes I wear. I can't connect with my peers, and even most adults won't take me. That sounds rough. But hey, I think it's fine to care about your own things. In fact, at my age, a lot of people still aren't sure what matters to them. So is everyone... So... So does everyone just go about feeling lost and all? Yeah, I think so. Sometimes it's hard. It's not, it's not like we always choose what we care, what to care about. But it's always good to keep learning. Anyways, our differences don't mean that we still can't connect with others. 
We just have to be open to it. Look at us. Hmm. I guess I'm quick to assume the worst at times. Hey. Do you believe you... What do you believe you really care about? Well? Oh, my parents are back. I didn't mean to get on this tangent, but it was really nice talking to you. I'll think some more about what you've said. Feel free to drop on by whenever. Don't be a stranger. Aww. See, and that's what I mean, is that... I have to get back to work. Have a good one. Um, that's what I mean, is that even a simple thing like this job, you can make so many connections with people from all different walks of life. And it's kind of the reason, as I said earlier, it is a big reason I enjoy doing YouTube and social media and everything is because it's connected me to a world that I didn't uh, even have connections in before or people it's connected me to people that I might not have connected with if I didn't have this so I don't know I'm really grateful oh here we go what's what we got here what's this Ah, oh, it's her and the it's her and the old man. Thank you for sp for sparking our friendship with your kindness. Ah. Oh, that's a really nice ending. I'm guessing it's ending. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. That's interesting for me. That's a, that that's a really interesting special story to tell, and I'm glad that it got told. Wow. Because you started off, right, with this post guy that's kind of going through a rut. He's going through the ebbs and flows of life, not really caring about what he's doing anymore. And he forges, he meets the one difficult person that he's uh, in the street, and next door, a really kind person, kind-hearted person. But they're both, both of these people had... Um, were basically introverts, right? And his entire job is about being an extrovert and kind of being able to talk to people. So it's interesting that he got to teach both of these people how to be more of an extrovert and communicate with people. And that sparked a friendship between them. That's really cool. That was a really cool game. I, I connected to that on so many different levels. Which I did not expect coming into this. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, the art style just kind of um, looked awesome to me. So I was interested to see that. But anyway, that's it for Post Hello. I hope you guys, make sure you guys go check this out. And kick in a couple bucks if you can to help the developers out. Always means the world to them, even to get a dollar off of people to play this game. It really does. It can make a massive difference. So anything that you guys can spare, the link as always is down below in the description box. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys took something from this in a similar way that I did. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to social medias in the description box. And as always, if you like what you see here and you want to see more of my stuff, make sure you head on over to dlive.tv slash popyjn. That is where we live stream almost every single day at noon Australia time. Um, also down below, if you want to suggest and get involved with the community, our community Discord is down below. If you want to make suggestions for the YouTube channel or you want to make suggestions for our streams over on DLive, make sure you go down into the description box and join our Discord now and join the community. But thank you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Until next time, I'm YouTube's JN. Peace out. There'll be days when the horizon's calling out to us And others when it's hard to see Oh, but I